morning up on the train, uh, heading off on the big adventure. And now the train stopped because there's a fault with the with the barrier. Sat in a very nice booth in the Virgin First Class Lounge at Newcastle. It's very nice actually. Uh, it must have been done up. The, uh, I've got about half an hour to wait until the next train to Carlisle. And uh, the train, as it got past, as it left Darlington, filled up with um, football fans who are out on a bender. I don't know who Newcastle are playing today. But uh, oh, second class, standard class is overflowing. Overflowed into first class, got a bit rowdy, but hey, didn't have to stay there for too long. And uh, now I'm uh, waiting for the next train. There's not much else to report, really. Uh, just a bit of an update to me uh, video I just did now from Newcastle Station and that is my camera froze up on the phone uh, which is no good to me um, so I had to reboot the phone which meant I had to reset the live tracking uh, which meant it's a new link which starts uh, from scratch uh, so it's a bit of a shame. Fortunately I've got the backup of the Pangea device so I'll have the whole route tracked but not uh, necessarily all live if we have problems like that. I've got the backup team, of course, with Joe, uh, updating the links when necessary uh, on all the relevant pages, but uh, just an interesting one, isn't it? Uh, phones issues. On platform six, waiting for the doors to open on the train to Carlisle. There appear to be quite a few people wearing walking gear and carrying packs. Wonder what they're doing, eh? Bit of confusion at Carlisle Station, they're having a bit of work done by the looks of it. Uh, anyway, most people seem to be getting a replacement bus service, but uh, I'm not. Um, I'm on the 16.26 or 30, 16.36 to Barrow in Furness, but I'm only going to St. Bees, so and it's on time. It's a fairly deserted Carlisle Railway Station. It's got, uh, all these replacement bus services, hardly anybody here. This train doesn't go for another half an hour yet. There's nobody else, hardly. Anyway, by the way, you may have noticed I've changed the organisation of the hat. You'll probably see a few variations over the next couple of weeks. Great name for a train, look. Councillor Bill Cameron. Well, hey. Yes, I wonder who Councillor Bill Cameron was. It's not much of a train, really, but... Hey. It's a lovely bit of coast, this. I see the Isle of Man over there. I think it's the Isle of Man. Can't really tell. But, uh, can't imagine what else it could be. And it's a lovely day. Tomorrow's not going to be the same at all. Just arrived in St. Bees, 526 on the dot. And just around the corner, very really conveniently, is the B&B where I'm staying. Stonehouse Farm. And I saw something very interesting getting off the train because the uh, person on the platform handed a token to the driver. So it's obviously single line running from here or around here. And I've never seen that happen before. Very interesting. Sheep. That's where you get in the country, I guess. In fact, it's lambs as well, isn't it? Down at the beach at St. Bees. It's a beautiful evening. The others haven't arrived yet, but they're not very far off. This St. Bees head. Uh, I've come here specifically tonight because the forecast isn't very good for tomorrow. So I thought I'd try and get some uh, shots in the clear. Uh, not much else to say about it really. There's a golf course, a uh, football pitch, and a calf up there. This is where we're coming tomorrow morning. See you then, maybe. Here I am, in front of the official start of the Coast to Coast. For its worth. There we go. 